Oh, you know what it is, baby. Let's look alive. It is time for J-Rock. J-Rock just heard probably one of the most blasphemous things that have ever come out of the mouth of the GOAT himself, Michael Jordan. What did he say? Oh, you're about to find out. If you smell, what J-Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to YouTube. Oh, what is happening and then and then and then and then with the millions of J-Rock's fans watching from all over the world. Oh yeah, baby, tonight, opening night, the NBA is back. Season number what, 76, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's time. NBA basketball. Football season is in full swing. And now NBA is back. The Toronto Raptors are your NBA champions. For better or for worse, they are your champions. New teams. New squads. The era of the super team has been put on hold, at least for now. And the era of the dynamic duos has begun. Who will win? Who's the favorite? J-Rock don't know. The Lakers are obviously the favorites. Whenever you have LeBron James, it's title or bust with as far as expectations. The, the Rockets added Russell Westbrook. Kevin Durant, even though he's not playing, is going to Brooklyn along with Kyrie Irving. D'Angelo Russell will team up with Steph Curry. Speaking of Steph Curry, Michael Jordan, who in my opinion is the greatest basketball player of all time as far as it pertains to performing on that court no one does it or has done it better than number 23 but when it comes to evaluating talent with the exception of Kobe I might add when it comes to evaluating talent it is no secret why the Charlotte Hornets have stunk and probably will continue to stink when Michael Jordan has to be the one to pick people, to pick players, to pick coaches. What did he say that has J-Rock all riled up and ready to lay the smack down? Let's listen and see. Would you keep the same form? In a heartbeat. But I'm going in the trenches. I played against and with all these guys. I'm going with who I know. Every single night, that responsibility to go out there and represent greatness every single night. So Steph Curry shouldn't be offended when he watches this. I hope not. Now he's still a great player. Not a Hall of Famer yet, though. <laughs> You're not. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. I enjoyed this. <sighs> J-Rock wants to consider that there's another side to this that MJ was trying to say. In this interview, he was asked about who he would play with in a pickup game. If he had to pick any of the players in NBA history, who he would pick. Now, he was asked this question about six years ago. And the players that he picked well, along himself were Scottie Pippen, James Worthy, Magic Johnson, and Akeem Olajuwon. While J-Rock believes that that is one hell of a list, and J-Rock has no problem with that, six years later, he was asked that same question. Would he change it? And there he gave you his answer. And then he said that as great as Steph Curry is, he's not a Hall of Famer yet. Who, hey, hey, who is out here honking the people's horn? Anyway. Now, Jordan could have meant from the stand, he could have been literal from the standpoint that, well, technically or literally, he's not a Hall of Famer yet. The, he hasn't retired and he hasn't been officially named a Hall of Famer. So from a technical standpoint, MJ is correct. He's not a Hall of Famer from a technical standpoint. But, and I think, could be wrong, but I think... MJ was saying 
from an overall career accomplishment player to this point in his career. He hasn't shown enough yet to be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, MJ. J-Rock vehemently disagrees with you. Three time NBA champion. Michael, jo Michael Jordan has done a lot of things. Six and all in the NBA Finals. Five time. NBA, five time NBA MVP. Six time Finals MVP. Multiple scoring champion. Think. Ten times, if I'm not mistaken. Defensive player of the year. Four-time All-Star MVP. And all the other accolades. Two-time gold medalist. And a whole... Uh, everybody remembers the shot when he hit it as a freshman in, in, in college that won North Carolina Tar Heels the national championship. So Michael Jordan has accomplished a lot in his career, but oh my brother, there's one thing you have not done, you have not done, and you will never do, and that is be named the first unanimous MVP. Now look, I'm a fan of Steph Curry, and while I do believe he did deserve the award for being the first ever unanimous MVP, I don't think he should have been the first. There's other guys who could have won it before him. Bron, Jordan, to name a few. But Jordan, you never won it. No one has. There is one man who is on that page, and he is on that page by himself, and he is the greatest long-distance shooter this game has ever seen. And his name is Steph Curry, who has broken more three-point shooting records than there are to break. They gotta, they gotta create another category for this man. There's one record that awaits him, and I'm sure he'll break it within the next year or two, and that is the most three-pointers allowed, most three-pointers made in NBA history. He trails two guys, two of the greatest shooters of all time, Ray Allen, who's number one, and Reggie Miller, number two. Oh, he'll break that record, and he'll break it in fewer games. I don't have the numbers in front of me exactly of how many more games he has over those guys, but the fact remains. That if Steph Curry retired today, never dribbled a basketball again in the NBA ever. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, he would be first ballot Hall of Fame. First ballot Hall of Fame. Oh, and before anyone says anything, well, well, he he's he's never won a Finals MVP. So are you saying that the only way you can get into the NBA Hall of Fame is to win a finals MVP. Well, if that's the case, you've got to take a whole lot of jabronis out of the Hall of Fame. If that's the criteria, then a lot of people got to come out. Charles Barkley. Oh, my man. Sir Charles has got to come out of the Hall of Fame. <sighs> Listen, obviously, MJ... Uh, had a little bit too, too much to drink. Now, the reporter don't know his name. He said that he and MJ were sipping tequila. I'm of the belief that uh, while you may have had some tequila, sir, MJ had a little something extra in here. Hell, he may have already been high. All the damn makeup he had on his face. I don't even know if that was a real MJ or not. But the fact of the matter remains that MJ, no. And this season, when Steph Curry walks his candy ass into Charlotte to play against the Charlotte Hornets, and he drops 60 on the Hornets, everybody on the Charlotte coaching staff and the Charlotte players, oh, you can go and thank your owner for incentivizing Steph Curry. Because you remember his... MVP campaign where he was a unanimous MVP when he was on the road and they were honoring Dale Curry. Steph Curry dropped 50 on the Hornets in three quarters. So, the fact of the matter is is that was it 50 or 40? I think it was 50. Could have been 40. Oh, it doesn't matter what it was. The only thing that matters 
is that this year, when Steph Curry walks his candy ass into Charlotte, oh, he will have extra motivation. And when he is done dropping 40, 50, 60, 70, hell, go for the work at Steph. I want you to look right at Michael Jordan. And I want you to tell Michael Jordan. I want you to tell MJ to his face. The way Ronald Isley told R. Kelly in the movie slash video down low. Look at me. Look at me. I did this to you. I did this to you. Now Steph Curry ain't that kind of dude. He, he, he's not going to acknowledge that anyone incentivized him to play great basketball. Steph Curry is unassuming. He's, you know, very PC. Uh, and he's going to be respectful of Michael Jordan. Oh, but believe you me, don't let the light skin fool you. Kobe Bryant once said this about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson that when he was talking about who reminds him of himself with that mama mentality. He said he loves to watch Golden State play with Steph and Clay because they're so unassuming, they're so laid back, they don't show a whole lot of emotion. He's like, oh, don't be fooled by that, brother. These dudes are stone cold killers. They will light your ass up and smile in your face while you were sitting there thinking that the light skin made them soft. You gotta take that L along with that ass whooping. But, MJ, you're wrong. Steph Curry is a Hall of Famer. Now. Right now. Right now, today. If they voted, he'd be in. Right now. I don't know. Even by MJ's old criteria. A three-time champion. A dude who revolutionized the game the way Steph Curry has. Now look, Steph Curry is a fa uh, one of my favorite players. I'm not putting them top 10 all the time. I remember they did that list, Bleach Report, a few weeks ago. The dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. Kobe Bryant, 14th? Are you kidding me? I'm going to do another video about the disrespect that Kobe Bryant gets. Because it's, it's just ridiculous. Steph Curry, uh-uh. No, not ahead of Kobe. But that's what happens when you get guys who don't know the game. And they try to understand the game from a numbers perspective. Oh, numbers don't lie, but they can mislead if you take them out of context. And people's argument against Kobe always has to do with analytics. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, analytically speaking, Kobe Bryant is a five-time NBA champion. Two-time finals MVP, league MVP. One of the clutchest players in NBA history. Has the most game-winning shots in NBA history. Some jabroni said technically Kobe Bryant has never hit a game-winning shot. So if the other team is winning by a point and Kobe shoots a shot that goes in and his team wins the game and there's no time left on the clock, what the hell is that? Oh, that's a buzzer beater. Oh, okay. All right, so that's a buzzer beater. Okay, so if Kobe Bryant hits a shot, that gives this team the lead, and there's 10 to 15 seconds left on the clock, and another team don't score, what is that? Don't get J-Rock riled up. You don't want to go one-on-one -on -one with the great one. J-Rock will make your monkey ass famous if you want to sit here and talk basketball with J-Rock. But look, MJ, obviously he's entitled to this opinion. Uh, I disagree. Right now, today, Steph Curry is a Hall of Famer. Now, if you want to go the technical route that he hasn't retired, hasn't been voted, obviously, like I said earlier, you're right. But saying that Steph Curry is not a Hall of Famer based upon his career accomplishments? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's already there, bro. He's already there. In fact, Steph Curry has accomplished more than half the guys in the Hall of Fame already. But whatever. I was gonna go down some 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 stats that Steph Curry has accomplished. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna waste my time with that. That'd be an insult to Steph Curry. You know what it is. You know what the man has done. Man is three and two in the NBA Finals. 
Only re and had Clay not going down this past season, never mind KD. If Clay had just been healthy the whole season, the whole series. Oh, I think they go to Game Seven and definitely win. Uh, win it. So Toronto won the title, but and here's what I understand: everybody is talking about Kawhi Leonard over LeBron James. I don't got time to go over that. But I'm just saying like this and then I'll be done. When Steph Curry and the Warriors beat LeBron James in the 2015 finals. And Kyrie Irving went down in overtime of game one. And Kevin Love didn't play at all that series. Nobody was saying Steph Curry was the best player in the world. Everybody was talking about how lucky they got. They got some good breaks. Guys were hurt pretty much every series that they went. That they won. Gave the Warriors very little, if any, credit. Basically said, yeah, injuries gave them a championship. Oh, but when Kawhi Leonard does it. He's the best player in the world. The inconsistency of some of these basketball analysts is pretty concerning considering the fact that they get paid for that. I don't get paid to do this. <sighs> anyway, post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of MJ, what MJ said. You agree or disagree? What you thought about what I said? Whether you agree or disagree? Uh, yeah, that was... Sorry, MJ. You're wrong, brother. You're wrong. But anyway, make sure you hit that like button if you appreciate and enjoy J-Rock's reaction to this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe. J-Rock's trying to get to 1 million subscribers and he needs your help. He cannot do it without you. Also, make sure you hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Make sure you go to my Facebook fan page and post your videos there. The link to it is down below. Uh, if I choose your video that you want J-Rock to react to, I'll give you a shout out right here on the People's Channel. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. If you smile, what J-Rock is cooking.